This is the Bruce. The Bruce is a very, very fat cat. He's Russian cat. He's fat. Look at fat Russian cat. That's how he survived winter. Because he's fat. There's lots of fur. And his tail is deadly. <laughs> this is my buddy here. Hey, Bruce. Hi. You are fat, though. You're a giant, giant bear of a cat. So that's why I like to joke. He's a, he's a Russian cat. Is he huge like bear? He bear cat. Bear cat. Welcome to Politically Homeless Gun Reviews. Take three. First couple tries didn't work too well. Um, <clears throat> hopefully this will be my last time attempting this. So we have the Taurus 856. <laughs> Let me, um, right now we have in it, actually here, I'll let, one of the coolest things about this pistol with the matte black. Although, of course, I'm not pointing it at myself. I'm standing well to the side, but I wanted you to see what it looks like. Loaded with the hollow, you know, JHP jacketed hollow points. Um, extremely compact, extremely affordable, extremely reliable, and in my opinion, still high quality. 30 special revolver. There we go. Clear, clear, clear. Spinny spin. That is clear. Mm. I've been working the trigger a little bit, you know, loosening it up. Uh, I really like this. We're going to get into it. But first, uh, for comparison size, you can see just how compact it is. This is my ideal backup gun. Uh, or a concealed carry because it is about as compact I think as you're going to get with a um, caliber size that you want. 38 Special is pretty beefy bullet. I mean, you're talking that much more as a 357 Magnum. So, and especially, you know, like, this thing is rated for plus P. They tell you to not use it all the time for plus P, but, you know, for what you're carrying in it, you can definitely carry all plus P uh, with reloads, and it'll get the job done. They just say at the range, just try to shoot regular 38 through it so you don't give, you know, excessive wear and tear on your firearm. Now, for example, um, in comparison, I have my two favorite Kershaw knives here. This is the um, this is the one I carry the most, and the uh, revolver is actually shorter than this pocket, my EDC pocket knife. It's Kershaw, and then it is identical size wise to my backup second favorite Kershaw, which is the camshaft. So if you want to know exactly how big the 856 is from bottom of grip to tip of uh, front sight and barrel it is exactly the camshaft pretty cool so that gives you a good size comparison on this extremely compact revolver oh yeah so let's do a little dancing fans with it so you can get an excellent look at it The stock grip I really like with it. I'll get into that in just a second. A lot of YouTubers um, don't like the stock grip. I actually really do. Let's give you a good sight picture. All blacked out sights, but very, very good. I like that. Let's get a good sight picture. And... Um, 
you can see the different texturings on the grip. So yeah, with the grip, with in regards to the grip. So here, let me tilt this up a little bit. So you can see there's this rubber molding that comes out from the grip that is going to be absolutely perfect for your thumb if your hand is my size. I'm 6'2", basically right around 200 pounds. I think I weigh 195, 192 right now because I'm pretty cut and been working out like crazy. But, um, you know, always right around 200 pounds seems to be my, my go weight. <laughs> and um, for my hand size, this grip feels really nice thumb mold perfectly index finger is going to be up here you know uh, not on the trigger because i have good trigger discipline i'm like <clears throat> some people and then we have our you know our middle finger is on the first molding spot ring finger and someone was saying their hand is floating down free floating down the bottom mine does not there is a pinky mold it just comes up Squeeze it tight. You have extra grip in the thumb. Extremely um, good grip. The way they did the molding in it, it just really sticks to your hand like Velcro without feeling too rough, like it's gonna, you know, like you would need to wear gloves or something with it. And has a nice sight picture. Now for me, the ultimate selling point was Six round cylinder, six rounds, thirty eight special, easily concealed carryable, concealed carry, and honestly, like I don't know what about you, but if you live like me in California or Florida, um, where you're wearing warm clothes all the time, you know you're gonna Mexican carry, or you're gonna have it in a, a fanny pack or backpack or something. And um, the sheath by DeSantis, I would highly recommend. Uh, this thing fits this absolutely perfectly. You can actually feel the um, barrel at the bottom. It's in there so perfectly. Let me back this up so you guys can see better. And you have to watch out because if you pull up, your hammer's going to snag, right? So always make sure as you pull out, it is kind of level or down. Give it a, there you go, and you can pull it out extremely quickly so like with anything it takes training like if you don't know what you're doing you have it in <gasps> oh, i'm pulling up i can't get my, my my revolver out pull out pull down and out just like anything <clears throat> you have to know with what you're working with and what you're doing double action pull is heavy i want to say about 10 pounds it feels like single lot yeah, single action. Um, Ten pounds. Double action. Probably like five. If I'm guessing, I need to get one of those digital readers. But um, Taurus eight fifty six. Perfect home defense or uh, perfect. Concealed carry, perfect backup gun to your primary uh, self-defense weapon. Could be good for home defense. This is, you know, when I think about it like a, a revolver like this, this is your classic PI gun. This is like, you know what I mean? Like a detective gun, private eye, something that they could carry with them at all times. And if they needed to, could stop the biggest, baddest dude. 38 special. It's not 357 Magnum, but it's damn close. And if you run plus P, like I do a lot of times, uh, like these Remington frangibles, um, it'll get the job done. And if not, just regular 38 special hollow points, I would also say will absolutely get the job done. Compare that to like a, you know, 9mm or something. Uh, 38 special will do the trick. Um, so excellent setup here. We got the Taurus 856 and the DeSanta sheath. Um, has this ex nice extra flap that Velcro's on so you can zero your print. Uh, if you're clever about it, yet still get in and access your, your uh, firearm quickly. So very happy with this purchase. Extremely affordable, even in California. 
you know, something like this um, will be right around $300. Uh, I, I'm guessing if you get it anywhere outside of California, you could probably get it uh, at, you know, under $300. So, um, but where we live, everything is jacked up in price. That's just the price you pay living here. So, yeah. Recall for Gavin Newsom's coming up. Make sure you vote for Larry Elder. I think that is who has the best chance of winning for the Republican Party. Um, and we'll see what he does. He better be pro to, you know, two A <laughs> and help us out because we have just been taking it as Californians. Uh, Law abiding citizens have just been getting screwed over, uh, over and over and over again. And it's time for a little bit of the pendulum to swing back in the other way. So over here, um, one of my other favorite firearms would be the Ruger PC9, which you can see this really cool muzzle brake I got on the end. We broke that in the other day. Actually, I've shot it twice now with the muzzle brake on. Really like it. Um, really works well. Very happy with the mini mini venom, and then we ordered a Surefire light for underneath here. Uh, it was like a hundred and fifty dollar light, so I hope it's legit. I I didn't, you know, I went big. <laughs> you know, um, it's more than I spent on my mountain bike light. So I hope it's a good one. Uh, this is my you know home castle defense weapon. Uh, probably get a sling the next in a day or two. We've been looking at different slings. Uh, and then we put this neoprene pad on the end, which is so soft on the face. This thing with the muzzle brake and the neoprene pad, it's like shooting a 1022 with just the smallest bit of extra kick. And I love the takedown feature on it. You can break this down and bring it with you. Throw it in the truck, put it in a backpack, do all kinds of things. And um, so let's say, you know, if I was camping and like, let's say you have the choice of taking a 1022, uh, you know, takedown, which I also ha own, or this Ruger PC9. I'd take the PC9 just because I would have probably my, you know, my CZ as a sidearm, you know, as like a, and then also this, it's back, and then you only have to carry one ammo, where if, you know, you took the 1022, you'd probably have nine millimeter for your handgun, and you'd be bringing. 22 ammo for the rifle and it's like well what's the difference and i just mount a scope on this and bring this or some kind of um you know it doesn't have to be super magnified but something so we have a snap cap in there right now you guys want to see here we'll show you hopefully you can see this did you see the orange in there yeah that's snap cap and uh i can show you the trigger Pretty crisp. Let's do it one more time. Very crisp. Very fast break. Once it's, you know, engaged, uh, be ready because it's gonna, it's gonna break. It's gonna break crisp. So let's get out the snap cap. How can we do this? Lots of different ways. This way is always fun. Oops, actually. I'm doing it all jacked up. So, let's see here. Snap cap might be able to pull out with my fingers. Uh, probably not. <laughs> see. No, let me scratch everything up doing it that way. Um, you know what I need. Yeah, these are my, some of my favorite snap caps because they actually won't eject. Uh, you can put this 9mm in there and see it's got this little tiny plastic O-ring around the back. What do they call it? Like an A-zoom or something? Yeah. Uh, look for these snap caps if you, if you want to have it just stay in there and you can keep firing away as many times as you want and not worry about your... Um,
having a million snap caps. You can literally fire it a thousand times and with just that one snap cap in it. It won't eat every time you fire it and then uh, do the action of the firearm, it will not eject it because that O-ring will just keep it in place. Pretty dang cool. Like that thing a lot. So, okay. I have probably more stuff I could talk about. I did put a muzzle brake on my Ruger American Ranch. It's a Gant, it's a, I got it from M Carbo. It's a Gamma VG6 in the 556 model muzzle brake. Super nice. I uh, really like both my mu new muzzle brakes I got for uh, my, my newest rifles. And um, cannot wait to go try out this next week. We're going to go to the range with it and break it in. 856 Taurus 38 Special Snumdos 2 inch. Single or double action revolver, only 38 special, but plus P rated. Bigger Kershaw than the, <laughs> my pocket knife is longer than it. Extremely compact, extremely. Perfect for Mexican carry. Um, yeah, we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.